But Lee Daniels has no problem at all talking about homophobia in the black community. But he refuses to talk about racism in Hollywood. Now, I know black folk who are homosexuals, and they tell me that white homosexuals are just as racist as white heterosexuals. They catch hell, despite being homosexual. Is that Lee Daniels has no problem at all talking about homophobia in the black community, but he refuses to talk about racism in Hollywood. Now, I know black folk who are homosexuals, and they tell me that white homosexuals are just as racist as white heterosexuals. They catch hell, despite being homosexual. Black lesbians catch hell, despite being a lesbian from other lesbians. Because of racism. So if you can't deal with racism, how are you going to deal with all these other isms? That he doesn't like calling the race card. He doesn't believe in the race card. So if that makes me a sellout, then I'm a sellout. This is called show business. And I'm in here for the business. That's his mindset. That's the mindset of the man that is behind empire. So he doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about your problem. He's interested in his agenda. Last time I checked, that's called selfishness. Yes, huh? right. Yes, that's right. That's selfishness. So, um, the other thing about Lee Daniels, and, and for those of you who all saw my precious lecture, I kind of broke down Lee Daniels' sickness. He is probably one of the most dangerous Negroes in America. And we need to know him. Lee Daniels had a friend of mine in Hollywood who and seeing the script. You know, originally Lee Daniels was supposed to direct Selma. And a friend of mine in Hollywood had read the script and said, Tony, in this script, Lee Daniels has Martin Luther King, has a scene in the movie where Martin Luther King is sitting on the toilet taking a crap, talking to his lieutenants. Martin Luther King is portrayed with, with, with all these whores and prostitutes going from woman to woman to woman. You know, if this movie gets made, it's going to destroy the image of Martin Luther King. So on the basis of that conversation, I called my people in Selma. I got some folk in Selma. I said, look, Lee Daniels is going to be coming down there with this production crew. You all need to make sure that he does not make that movie. So everywhere he went, they dogged him. They hounded him. They made him so uncomfortable that he said, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do the butler instead. Right? And so Ava DuVernay picked up the mantle and directed Selma and, and, and did a decent job. She did a decent job. At least she didn't make the mistakes, the intentional mistakes that Lee Daniels was going to make. I, Selma was locked out of the Oscars was because at the New York premiere of the movie, the actors and the director all wore I Can't Breathe t-shirts. And they engaged in the spirit of Selma, the spirit of protest, speaking out against injustice. This issue offended some members of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. And one person spoke off the record. And this is what they said. I'm supposed to vote for this just because it had black people in it? He said, having the cast show up in t-shirts saying I can't breathe was offensive. This is a white person, white person right? Wearing this is offensive to him. Why? Because he doesn't believe what you believe. He doesn't feel what you feel. He said, do they want to be known for making the best movie of the year or for stirring up crap? That was their opinion. That's how they responded to this protest. It ain't about respecting you as a black person. It ain't about identifying with your struggles and the pain that we have gone through as a people. It ain't about addressing racism. It's about making white folk comfortable. And the more of us who forget about what they've done to us and try to be like them, the happier they are. That's what this whole thing is all about. That's what this whole thing is all about. And we need to be clear. So Lee Daniels thinks that black homophobia, not racism, is the biggest issue in Hollywood. I got a problem with that. Lee Daniels would do well to heed the words of Marcus Garvey who said that the Negro who lives on the patronage of philanthropists is the most dangerous member of our society. Dangerous Negro because he is willing to turn back the clock of progress when his benefactors ask him to do so. Yeah. So Lee Daniels has consistently demonstrated that he doesn't care 
care about black folk. Right. He's in it for the money. That's all that matters to him. So if that's his position, and he's entitled to his position. Thank you for letting me know. So I will make a conscious choice to never support anything you do. That's my right. That's my response to you showing me consistently who you are. That's right. That's cool. You know, Lee Daniels, a number of years ago, in the New York Times, mind you, Lee Daniels said regarding his children, the children of he and his lover, Lee Daniels said that they've been to more bar mitzvahs than they've been to church. He said that these black kids are living around these Upper West Side Jews. They've read Anne Frank, the diary of Anne Frank, a hundred times, and they will never read Roots. That's Lee Daniel. That's the man who's responsible for empire. So y'all need to take this information and figure out what you're going to do about it. Every time you watch Empire, you're co-signing on Lee Daniels. All right? All right? And he let them know it's all right. So...